Five weeks ago, the future of Car Linux business was looking bleak. Now, since this is the worst it's ever been, accountants' bills, you've got all those sort of bills come in, they don't stop. I mean, we'll survive, we'll survive. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Carl is smiling more this time around. After telling us about his predicament, the community around him made their presence known. I uh, had texts, messages, phone calls, are you okay? How's the shop? Do you need a hand? He even got a, a letter of, I hope things are okay. Uh, and somebody put a tether in an envelope. And it was, uh, the heartstrings were going, you know, that thing. Puts your trust back in humanity. In mid-July, with a new look salon, Carl could finally get back to cutting hair. It was chaos, chaos. I opened at six in the morning and there was a queue down the street. It was fantastic. It was just good to see everybody. And I think they just wanted to offload and get just start talking and things like that. Home haircuts and things like that, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I just could not even copy them. They were brilliant. Holes here and all over the place. After the initial rush, business has quietened. Some clients are still staying away. We're just trying to get new customers, trying to get the confidence back in the customers that don't want to come in, especially the older customers. They're still a wee bit scared to come out and come into the shop, things like that. For now, Carl is staying positive and cautiously optimistic that his business won't return to the dark days of lockdown. Mezart Hair Salon in Glasgow opened just as lockdown began. Stuart, the owner, is now seeing customers for second appointments. We've probably seen a large majority of our clients already now, having been back. Um, and going forward, we're starting to recruit new staff now as well. So we're starting to grow and expand, hopefully, for the rest of the year. So, positive. The best case scenario for me definitely has to be that we do not get closed down again. Um, that's first and foremost, so we're just hoping that that doesn't happen, hoping that everyone manages to stick to the guidelines. If you did have to close down again, I mean, what would that mean for you and your business? I think for me right now, it's sort of planning for that being a possibility, um, so that worst case scenario, we're as ready as we can be for that to happen. I'm hoping that we won't end up in that situation, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Carl, too, dreads the prospect of shutting his doors again. You just hope that it, it doesn't happen again. You know, what would you do, you know? What would you do if it, if it happened again? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The cutting continues.